Well, this is exciting. Leading the skinny this morning, big news for one of Rena's favorite rap groups. I don't know why Bernie Sanders isn't meeting with him, by the way. The <laughs> Wu-Tang Clan is who we're talking about, fighting back against infamous ex-pharmaceutical CEO Martin Scarelli after beefing with Congress by pleading the fifth and calling the imbeciles for in investigating him. That's what they said. He now has a killer on his trail, as in Ghostface Killer. The Wu-Tang uh, rapper released a video slamming Shkreli for gouging drug prices while winning an exclusive Wu-Tang album that they auctioned off to him for two million dollars. Ghostface lets Shkreli have it, but then he brings in the big guns, his mama. You wicked boy! You Tell wicked boy! How was you raised? Tell him, Mom. Do you have any more? Tell him, Mom. Get him. Oh, I can't believe you. Come on now. On, this man is too good for you to be. Wow, bring in Mama. Yeah. See? Jeb Bush did it. Mm -hmm. Now Wu Tang Clan's doing I'm scared. it. Bringing in Mama. And in a strange twist, Shigarelli, Ghost Faced, and other Wu Tang Clan members find themselves on the same side. Yeah, a New York artist is suing Shkreli, Wu-Tang, and the album auctioneer for two million over copyright infringement, claiming his portraits of group members were included in the auctioned album without his permission. Okay, I get why Bernie Sanders didn't meet with Wu-Tang Clan. Maybe that's a little bit too much for right now. But he'll meet probably with her, his mama. His mama. Good. Yeah. That's a good one. That's bad. Well, next, big news out of Hollywood for one of its best-known leading men, Johnny Depp. Tap for a major reboot. Yeah, Deb had a rough 2015 on the big screen. There was a ridiculed flop Mordecai, and then a strong performance in Black Mass that yielded very little in award recognition. But regardless, Deb is moving forward, and we've learned last night he will star in an adaptation of the H.G. Wells story, The Invisible Man. This was actually first made for the big screen back in 1933. It starred Klaus Reigns as the scientist who becomes unhinged after turning himself invisible. I like these old school remakes. Yeah, we'll see how Depp does. Okay, so singing superstar Kelly Clarkson has finally revealed the big project that she's been working on. It is a children's inspired book, uh, inspired by her baby daughter. So the original American Idol made the announcement yesterday in a video, oh look at her, she's just so cute. This video was posted to social media. The title of the book, River Rose and the Magical Lullaby. It's inspired by Clarkson's, Clarkson's world travels with her daughter Rose. However, she reveals it isn't always easy working with the young talent. <laughs> You try and talk to her, she just shuts the door right in your face. She's such a micromanager. She's like going down the hall, making sure you're doing your job, you're doing your job. <laughs> I want to get this one. This looks adorable. The children's book is out in October of this year. And finally, exciting news for fans of the current classic animated film, Frozen. You will soon be able to follow Princess Elsa on her quest to find her sister all the way to Broadway. The musical adaptation of the film slated for spring 2018 opening, but there will be a pre-Broadway engagement in the summer of 2017. And there is one more thing. We Disney need to is the parent company of ABC. That sound comes from? Comes from upstairs. Really? The voice of God upstairs. Yeah. Okay. I'm still trying to get into Lion King. Tough to get those tickets. Need to know people.